All right, Breaky CPK here of Honcast.com. I and hey, this is actually uh, this is a tutorial pretty much of how to how to get a stream set up. Whether or not you just want to stream for yourself, or whether you're looking to be a cameraman for other Honcast or uh, whoever else uh, in terms of streaming video games. So this is just to give you kind of a basic rundown of what you're looking for, and it's something that I get asked personally time and time again. Obviously, with all my casting. And uh, I, it's 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 really tough. It just really gets stressful when you have to explain it every single time, you know. So I figured, what the hell? Might as well make a might as well make a video that I can just link to and uh, to make it easy on myself and uh, hopefully for everyone else. Uh, so yeah, this is really overall though. This is a tool for the community to use in in terms of streaming and uh, or just being a cameraman. It's something that's getting more and more popular as time goes on. So I figured I would uh, hop on and kind of get this going for you. Uh, with that said, as you can see, I have a forum post open up here from Libertry or Death. A bit, big thanks to him for coming up with this uh, tutorial here. Again, this is a tutorial that he made, and uh, if, you, if you're if you a fan of reading and uh, trying to just understand from this, uh, feel free to use it. It, it was a great tutorial, and uh, I know several people that have learned a lot from it. As But uh, again, this is more of a visual aspect and a kind of a little bit more advanced as well. Um, so the programs that he has recommended here, which of course I recommend as well, and uh, definitely all you need, uh, pretty much are the Flash Media Encoder, the VH Screen Capture device, which is going to be your camera device, and a Justin TV account, as he suggests here. Uh, that's pretty much the easiest way to go about it. So as far as the Flash Media Encoder, uh, Live Encoder 3.1, this is the most recent version as of May 21st, 2010. So you want to be downloading this client right here. And then once it's, once it's installed and everything, you then want to download the VH screen capture device, which is actually, this is the link that it puts up right here. And then, of course, you just go to download. That's why I have pop-ups coming all over the place. But uh, so, yeah, you would just download this VH screen capture device from here. And then you would just work with those, those two devices, pretty much. Um, and then also the Justin TV account, which you would sign up for as well. Uh, so once you have everything installed and good to go, then we want to go ahead and open up our Flash Media Live Encoder 3.1. And this is what you'll be looking at in terms of... Uh, what you can expect. So this is a uh, kind of give you an idea of what what you're going to be working with. Uh, this is the interface for the Flash Media Live Encoder. And as you, okay, so as you can see here, we'll start from left. We'll go to the right. So as far as uh, configuring Flash Media Encoder, uh, we're going to start with the video. Um, the device you're going to be using is the VH Screen Cap. Make sure it's installed and everything, so you'll be able to. It'll be able to. You'll be able to see it in this drop down menu here. And go ahead and select that. Then the format, just leave it at VP6. Don't worry about that. Um, your frame rate, again, I use 30 FPS as you can see. It's If you think your computer can handle it though and you really do have a high quality computer, uh, feel free to try to bump it up to 60. But 30 FPS is more than fine in my opinion. And uh, anything higher than that really is not necessary. But if you're really looking to have fun with it and try to see, really see what kind of performance you can get, again, it's it's up to you. It's, it's a completely preference there. Um, input size... Uh, I suggest 1280 by 720. This is a uh, high resolution for widescreen. Um, so as you, as you can see, that's what I have it set to. Again, this is something you can tweak with if you want. However, this is uh, usually one of the best qualities uh, resolutions that you're going to be getting out of doing something like this. Um, then, then you're looking at your bit rate. Um, you want to go ahead and check mark this first box. And then we're going to set your bit rate. This is pretty much uh, the type of quality you're going to be recording slash streaming at. Um, I, have it, I have mine set to, to 1300 kilobits per second. Um, again, it, this this if you are going to be streaming, it does depend what kind of uh, upload your internet provider gives you. So uh, definitely look into that. And uh, if you want to go higher, feel free to do so. As far as as high, I, as far as as high I would go, I would only go to around 2,000 uh, kilobits per second at the most. I mean, anything higher than that, again, it's it's not really necessary. But <laughs> this completely up to you if you want to mess with it but um, 1300 kilobits per second is actually if, you, if you're fi familiar with honcast.com and you know my videos uh, that's actually what I stream most of them if not all of them in so uh, that's to give you kind of an idea of what kind of quality that will give you so set that up to uh, whichever you like I prefer 1300 and then the output size you want to mirror your input size so uh, again I set this to 1280 by 720 if you do want to mess with this if you don't want to go for widescreen if you want to go for more of a 4x3 you can set it to 1024 by 768 but make sure the output size is mirrored or else you might get some uh, little bit of quality issues in terms of your uh, recording as far as everything else over here in the video section make sure everything else is unchecked uh, again, these are my settings, and this is what I've been successful with in terms of recording. So I'm not a, I'm not going to go into details of exactly what everything does, but if you want to look into that for yourself, I mean, feel free to, and uh, feel free to tweak with it. Okay, so that's it for the video side of things. Now for the audio. Sorry about that. I took some water there. 
Okay, so now for the audio side of things, um, you, you want to set your device to stereo mix. This is what will actually pick up any sound that comes from your computer. So, any in-game sound, anyone talking over ventrilo or mumble or whatever you use, uh, this is going to be picked up by this. This will not, however, pick up your own microphone. So if you want to be a if you want to be a cameraman, just a cameraman, where you're going to be just doing the recording and letting it any other people talk or whatever, um, this is obviously great. This is the exact setting you want. If you also want to be able to record yourself, like I'm actually doing now, um, this is a little bit more of an advanced step. And unfortunately, uh, not everyone might be able to at least off the bat. Uh, what I'm going to show you here, this is this is to make it so you'll be able to hear hear yourself and record yourself as well as the sounds in the game. Uh, you still want to leave it on stereo mix. It sometimes is known as what you hear as well, but uh, in this case, it's known as stereo mix. Usually on the newer ones, that's what it will be known as. But uh, if you want to be able to hear yourself, what you're going to need to do is actually uh, enable your playback device on your microphone. And as you can see here, I have it unmuted in the volume set. And what it, what this actually makes it do, I can actually hear myself in my own headphones right now. Uh, so basically, when you think about it that way, it's it's actually it the, the computer is picking up that sound, and it's actually it is recording it because it's actually coming from the computer technically. Um, Mine is good. Mine is to the point where, although I can hear myself, it's not a crazy echo, and I can stand it, and it's 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 just it's actually great um, in terms of the echo. Um, older cards and even newer ones, even just for whatever reason, there might be an issue with there being a little bit more of an echo than you would like, and that could be distracting. And unfortunately, that can make things difficult in terms of if you're trying to cast or if if you're trying to talk and uh, do the stream as well. If that's the case, unfortunately, uh, there's not too much I can tell you in terms of maybe trying to get a new uh, sound card or in terms of trying to figure out uh, how to use some mixers, online mixers or whatnot. But again, that's a little bit more advanced, and I'm not going to worry about dealing with that on here. So hopefully this works. If not, uh, you're going to have to do a little bit more, more research. So, But I'm going to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to actually mute the playback device or mute the playback the microphone playback. So uh, it'll actually take away all the background noise and myself. And it's, it's going to give you kind of an idea of what I'm talking about here. All right, so you can kind of get an idea there of uh, what I mean by that necessarily. So, yeah, that's pretty much uh, what you're going to have to do if you want to also be able to pick up yourself. Again, though, if you just want to be a cameraman and only record other sounds, then uh, just setting it to stereo mix should be more than enough. As far as uh, these other settings... Uh, Pretty again. These you can really tweak with. I would suggest MP3 mono. I use mono just because I never use really stereo. You could switch it to stereo though. Um, the sample rate not a big deal. And the bit rate I'd cap it out of 48. Um, again, you can tweak with the volume to kind of mess with that yourself and try to get a set volume. So, uh, yeah, that's that's how the audio works. Um, now, as far as setting up the actual server, as you can see over here, um, if you are going to be streaming. Again, Justin TV is the easiest way to go about it, especially with FME. So uh, as far as uh, what you put in the FMS URL, I, I'm going to copy paste it in right here. That This is what you're going to be looking to place. This is for every single Justin TV stream. Uh, this is what you will use to put in the FMS URL. Um, as for the stream itself, that's actually what you'll have to figure it out. Everyone has their own ID number in terms of their account. If you just go to your account conf configurations and you look around in there, you'll be able to find your ID number. Um, so once you have that number, you just copy paste it into there, and then your server is good to go. If you hit the connect bu button, it should connect. You can test it that way. And uh, but yeah, so if that if that's not working though, then uh, maybe look at it. Maybe if you mistype something, but it, as long as you just copy pasted the ID number in here, it should work just fine. We are not just yet We're ready to start, though, obviously. We still have a couple more things to do. Um, as you can see below here, if you want to save the recording as well, you can check mark that and uh, label what you want to save it as and then where you want to save it. So, uh, The default place it saves is my videos folder. If you're on Windows, if you're on Mac, I couldn't tell you. But, yeah, you can mess with that. All right, so that should be it for the configuring the FME. Uh, again, though, you are not just ready to start yet, though, but... Uh, what you actually want to do, so we won't worry about that just yet. Um, the next step is actually going to be setting up your VH screen cap, which is actually the capture device uh, for your camera, basically. So we're gonna, I'm gonna open up that real quickly, and this is what it should open up with. Uh, open up with. It, you won't have these in here because uh, you'll be starting from scratch. However, once you do use it more and more, you'll start to get uh, profiles like this. But do not worry about any of these. What you just want to do, at least this is my preference. I always just want to create a new one. And uh, to just make sure that I can always have a uh, create the window myself and uh, make sure it works. 
Um, so as far as uh, so you, you just hit create a new one there at the profile section and then it'll come up with the VH screen capture driver uh, account thingy right here. Um, it's going to start on the capture screen but before we do that actually I'm going to go to the settings section and kind of give you an idea of uh, what I have set and whatnot. Uh, this is something that I've tweaked uh, th back when I was first getting started with this. I tweaked with this for hours on time and uh, finally what you see now in Honcast and what I'm actually streaming with right here are these settings. So if you want to mirror these settings, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little a couple of seconds to kind of get an idea of what I, what I have here. Um, again, if you want to tweak it for yourself and if you know more about this and if you want to do things your own way, feel free to. It's completely up to you. But uh, this has proven to work, obviously, at least with myself. So uh, if you want to mirror these. so All right. Uh, so that those are the settings. Go ahead and copy those if you would like. Now go back to the capture tab, and uh, this is where I'm actually going to set up the camera. There is a way to actually do a default window size where you can just uh, click it onto a window. I've had problems with that in the though in the past. I always just like to manually do it myself. So again, if you want if if you want to tweak with that and mess with that that feature, feel free to do so. But uh, me personally, I've always done the manual. Um, as far as doing the manual, what you would do, you would hit the select button right here, and then what it actually gives you, I don't know if you, you can actually see it on the stream or not, but it gives you a kind of like a cursor as if you're aiming a gun on the screen. Um, you actually want to bring that up to the top left corner of the screen, and then you, so you want, then you want to hit your left mouse button and then just drag it down. You want to hold your left mouse button, drag it down to the bottom right corner of the screen, and then let go. And then once you do that, the window is set and your profile is saved. And all you need to do now is just exit out of VH Screen Capture. And uh, that is that. So once you have that camera set up, that's all there is to it. Again, I know a lot of people might figure it's maybe a little bit more difficult than that, but it really isn't. Yeah, sorry about that. I need some water here. But so once once your camera is set up just like that, uh, now you're just about ready to stream. Not just yet though. Um, going back to the Flash Media Live encoder, this interface here, uh, it's a great interface obviously and you can see the start button down here. So you could technically click the start button and actually start the stream right now as long as everything is set up. However, I would not recommend that um, simply because this interface, if you start it from here, the interface has to stay up and it takes up a good amount of memory as well as a good amount of processor space. Um, so especially people with uh, older computers, this might not work nearly as well using it this way. So with that said, once all your settings are set up, you actually just want to exit out of uh, Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder 3.1 altogether. Um, I'm just going to minimize it myself since I'm streaming, but you, you would actually close it all out together. And then you would actually go to your Adobe folder on your computer. Um, in my case, it's under C, Program Files, Adobe, and then your Flash Media Live Encoder 3.1 folder. Um, there you will find a, an an executable file called FMLECMD, uh, which is basically the Flash Media Live Encoder command prompt executable file. Uh, what this does, it actually executes the 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 stream, but in the command prompt file, in in the sense that it actually drastically reduces the amount of uh, memory it uses, as well as processor space. So I I 100% recommend to do it this way. Uh, there's really no other point to do it the other way, in my opinion, at least from what I know and this is what I've always done so with that said you would I just create a shortcut onto my desktop and every single time I want to start a stream I just double click that and then it's good to go of course you have to make sure your settings are set up on FME before doing so however once you do that this is the window that it'll eventually come up to and this is to kind of give you an idea of what you what you will be looking at so if you're if you're at this screen and uh, you are good to go pretty much it should be streaming it should be recording and this is kind of data that you can work with in terms of why you're streaming and recording to give you an idea of what's going on so if, you, if you're at the screen, you should be good to go, and uh, that should be that. So again, you can configure the settings or tweak the settings to, to your own preference if you'd like. Um, but uh, as far as uh, what I had here, it's all these settings that you've seen here are pretty much what I've always used. And as you can see, it's worked for me. So hopefully this was a helpful tutorial. Uh, that was the, the overall goal after all. And uh, uh, yeah, again, what, whether or not it's, it's simply to uh, stream yourself or if you actually are looking to be a cameraman for either Honcast or someone else, um, th hopefully this uh, was helpful and uh, hopefully you get something out of it. But uh, to wrap it up, I was Breaky CPK. I'm from Honcast.com of Esport Media Inc. And uh, thank you for tuning in. And as always, stay tuned to Honcast.com for much, much more coverage, guys.